Hello and welcome back with another RSPS video and today we are on Sears RSPS and today boys we are going to be showcasing this brand new old school RuneScape server release right here. I've just created my account for the first time and the server literally released one hour ago which is super hype. So there's three different uh, types we can choose. Easy 100 times combo, 30 times skilling, medium 60 times combo, 30 skilling and the hard mod. Jesus Christ, five types in combo and skilling and 10% fucking chance. Okay, that's fucking dope. I'm going to go with the easy one I think. And then we're gonna be talking to this guy. And uh, no arm ammo, please. Thank you very much. And here we go. By the way, shout out to Rick, my man. And also shout out to all the other guys welcoming me. That is so freaking nice. And you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing. I have 10 mystery boxes in my bank, which are super OP. I'm gonna be giving away to the first 10 people that are gonna log in and PM me in game. I'm gonna be giving these 10 mystery boxes. If you get more than 10, I'm gonna be online for probably one to one and a half hours after the video is live. I'm gonna be giving out another bonus XP scrolls on top of the mystery box. The first 10 people, all the other ones are gonna get XP's plus crystal key. So make sure to online and get these items for free. And of course, enjoy this beautiful brand new old school RuneScape server. So as you can see right here, there's the home area. So we have the Grand Exchange trading post and the bank in the middle. All the different Shops can be found outside of the home area. I really like the theme. It's a sort of like a big the home area. I'm not gonna lie. So you guys will be able to run quite a bit here to find all the different things. You also have this uh, bright. Okay, I just got it. He's also, I believe, an agility thing. Wow. Okay, this is so customized. In the middle, we find the Sears Wizard where we can teleport free. Uh, we also have the Sears Altar over here. And in the middle of this beautiful Sears place, we got the bank slash granite shape. Otherwise, Sears got a fully working rune light client, as you can see right here. There's so many beautiful things you guys can enable and disable on this server. You got trackings, you got prices, you got everything you need on this client included. And I think that's one of the main things, especially old school RuneScape servers need to have. And I think I've completely forgot to fucking announce the giveaway. We're going to be giving away $25 bond as well as a $10 bond to two lucky winners. All you have to do is like the video, comment your game name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. Of course, we're going to be picking this in a couple of days. If you guys want to get the free stars pack again, links down below. For all the big runners out there, there's a little uh, competition as well going on here. So, as you can see right here, for the first people to max their accounts, normal accounts, Iron Man, Hawk Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man, there's a sweet prizes for each account type. So, if you want to participate, definitely make sure to check out the Discord as well. And look at this guy, another freaking stuff. Just PM me and ask me if I need anything that I should just PM me. Though, stuff already gets a 10 out of 10 for activity and support here. All right, time to check out the content. First things first, the interfaces. So, quite step, as you can see here, server information looks really clean. We have also the YouTuber rank, very, very nice. You can see time played, KDR, PVM points, okay, very nice. Achievement diary here, okay. So, as you can see here, clicking on it will open all the different achievements on the server. Starting from the easy ones all the way to the master achievements. Each reward is included as well. That's very, very neat. So, just click on it, whatever you want to work on, and you guys will be getting some neat custom rewards. Well, of course, well, it's well located right here. Very nice. And now it's time to have a look into the teleport. So, favorite section, whatever you guys favor on. Monsters, okay, very nice. Okay, interesting. I like that. So, if you want a favorite, just right click on this thing and it will be pushed right there. Um, again, we're not going to go too much into the easy teleports here. Dungeons, I was going to see a bunch of different dungeons where you guys will be able to grant yourself a Slayer and NPCs. Boss-wise, there's episodes high on the servers, Rune Dragons, Kraken, Cerberus, Corporal Beast, Dagonaut Kings, Demonic Gorillas, there's also Elvac, interesting dude, Elvac boss right here as well, Giant Maul, God of War, Scarfa Queen, Lizmane Shaman, Mithril Dragons, Temuclus, Smoke Devil, Wargoth, Zora, the Necromancer, and the Nightmare as well on Seas. Alright, I'm always curious of the sort of like unique bosses. Necromancer boss right here, oh fuck, this guy is already attacking me. Okay, we just got fucking one shot by him. That's a big F, I guess, and um, yeah, unfortunate. Well, one thing I forgot to finish up is the quest tab. If you go to the purple one, you guys actually find the drop tables. You find all the different uh, quick links as well here. Uh, what I want to check out is the drop table. So the one boss I wanted to check out is the Necromancer, of course. Okay, three different uh, NPCs we find here. I think the last one is the correct one. So Necromancer boss right here, as you can see, 1 in 256. Plus, it also drops its stuff, which is uncharged. Very, very neat. And the mini necromancer as the pan. I don't know what this one right here is. It's probably a minion sort of thing of it. 
But yeah, if you want to check out all the different NPCs, the stats on the right hand side as well. Just go to the quest tab and then go to the purple one and in here, bro, you can find all the information about them. That's so freaking cool, dude. And then finally, you can see all different uh, things here. Broadcast, for example, boss events, tournaments, announcements, other things, bro. Everything you guys need to know about the server and stats wise, you'll find in here. All right, back to the teleports. We went through the different uh, boss teleports. Um... Uh, I want to go to Nightmare as well, because quite sure that's going to be a 101. Oh shit, yes it is. So this little fading animation as well, really big fan of it. I assume it's going to be a sort of like, okay, yeah, spawning in 10 seconds. And you guys will be able to farm this bad boy together with your friends. Just for the lords, we want to get freaking one shot at So Here we go, Nightmare. Come on, bro. Fuck me up. I know, I know, I know you want to do it. Okay, he's milling and he just fucking dodged. Okay, whatever with that. And of course, we want to check out the Nightmare drop tables as well here. So, let's have a look here. So, apparently the drop table has not been added yet. But they're going to be added since Nightmare was the latest thing they've added towards the game. Um, but obviously, Nightmare stuff, all the different orbs, coins to set, will be able to be farmed from Warcraft. I've just seen also a wilderness event here. There's been a disruptance reported at the volcano. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, I really like the fact they also have these custom uh, wilderness uh, events pretty much added towards the game. So, I see if we teleport there, we'll couple of guys actually fighting over something slash a boss killing. So, that's fucking dope, dude. Okay, next on the list, mini games, Last Man Standing, Barrow's Dual Arena, Fire Caves, and Motherlode Mine as well included. That's very, very neat. Pura Pura can be found as well on a series. Uh, Warriors Killed, Winter Thought, Champions of Zarek, of course. Pass control and the inferno where you guys will be able to get your infernal cave. And for all these skillers out there, because there's apparently a lot of people that just enjoy like skilling, proper 07 skilling. So there's a bunch of different skilling teleports. I'm not going to go through all of them because there's tons of uh, freaking teleports. But as you can see right here, there is a bunch of options for you guys to actually grind. And finally, we have the wilderness teleports, as you can see right here. Wow, okay, that's actually a bunch of them. All the different obelisk teleports, revenant caves include as well. That is very, very neat. And Loki, it's a really good vibe to see all these brand new accounts here joining and just like playing on their like, I don't know, level 3, 66 combat account. That is so freaking cool. Sirius also has a custom high score, as you can see right here. So if you click here at the top on easy, normal, hard, Iron Man, ultimate Iron Man account, you guys will be able to see all the different accounts and you can compete against your friends. I believe this Ohana guy just joined here, so as you can see, 25th, that's really, really cool. And yeah, go ahead, grind yourself all the way to the top, boys. What I also like is the option to click like, like the overall diff, uh, stats, but you can also go, for example, if someone is like super good at smithing, for example, and he just farms fucking uh, smithing really, really hard, you guys will see him here probably with 200 million XP at some point. All right, next I would like to show you guys also the donor zone. They have a custom donor zone in C's, as you can see right here, with this little neat skilling area. I'm really, really big fan of skilling areas. I don't know why it's always been. And um, yeah, as we can see here, a bunch of ores. We got the furnace over there, anvil as well included next to it, a bunch of farming patches. We got a bank in here as well. And over there, we can find also the rejuvenation pool. Very neat. Sears Atar, very, very nice as well. And if we run a little bit more south, then we can also find all the different skilling players, sorry, fishing places, as well as a teleporter. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the trading post slash grand exchange, which is actually really nice. You got six slots in total. You can actually advertise your shops as well. And you can also see all the different listings and you guys can actually buy stuff from here as well, as well as see the history of items. But since we've not recorded anything, there won't be anything in here either. And yeah, boys, we gonna be calling it a day right here. I'm gonna be chilling here for like one hour, one and a half hours, giving out starter packs. Hop online, get yourself these beautiful starter packs. Again, really quick. The first 10 people are gonna get a free mystery box. Make sure to PM me in-game that you come from my video. And the other guys, if we get 10 plus more people, bonus speed scrolls and crystal keys to the guys. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. Like the video, comment, and give me a name down below and be subscribed to my channel so $25 bond and a $10 bond to two lucky winners that's it for now thanks for watching everybody have a great day i'll hope to see you on sis and peace